Hey, it's me, GB. Hi. Uh, we are live at this time over on twitch.tv slash scrollbana in the 24-hour stream. Uh, what does it say? I can't see. It's too small. <gasps> it is uh, five hours or so, I think. Five hours or so. 7, 12 a.m. in the morning. Yeah, five hours or so. Uh, we're doing pretty well. We're doing pretty well. Definitely energy, you know, getting to be a bit of a challenge for sure. Without a doubt. But we want to do some live recording, so here we are. We're doing a live recording of Fallout 76. So is my mic getting undercut by this, by this, by the button, by the volume? What am I doing? <laughs> yes, it's early in the morning. Seven in the morning. Been up since ten, and I didn't get much sleep. Hopefully, some of this makes sense. Tab is the pit boy. Great. What do we have in data? I might have to turn this volume lower. It seems like it's really, really, really loud. Let me turn it a little bit lower. Oh, that's right, yeah. Fallout 3 is insanely loud, I think. Okay. It's difficult to balance the audio. Anyways, we're doing this quest. Those. Investigate Marigold Metro Station and remove the source of the fire ants. Uh, we're trying to get, I have to remember, 50 science, which do we have? Oh, I forgot to pause the alerts. Thank you, Sadie Rocks, for the 400 bits. Fallout 76 panel. I <laughs> just cut it off. Fallout 76 vanilla. Did I say Fallout 76? Um, yeah, we're a little early in the morning here. Thank you, Sadie Rex, for the 400 bits. Um, those, yeah, investigate Marigold Metro Station, remove the source of the fire ants. This is a fun quest, fun side quest dealing with fire ants, and obviously Great Itch and Brian Wilkins and his dad, who's dead. He got anted. Um, let's read this. Sample location discovered. We've already read that in the terminal, didn't we? Um, what was I going to check? Oh, yeah, I was going to check my stats to see. We need 60. We need 50 science. We were eight points off of 50 science. That's to go back to the Robco and get the optional objective for Moira's Wasteland Survival Guide quest. Okay. Oh, yeah, we just need to explore. Yeah, it's not even giving me a quest marker. Whatever shall I do? And I need to get out of crouch because we are not going sneak. That is not what we're doing. No, sorry, Bob. Just double check. And make sure there's actually no objective at all, right? Quest, this is. Those, this is. Investigate Marigold Metro Station. Remove the source of the fire ants. Yeah, no quest marker. We're off the rails, boy! I can hear some ant shuffling. Also, is my Pip-Boy light on or off? Now it's on. It was on previously. I understand that as well. Marigold Station. Okay, I don't remember. I genuinely don't remember where to go uh, during this part of the game. Um... Without a quest... I, I do like, though, in Fallout 3 so far, there's been far less quest markers than I remember, which is great. I like trying to actually figure stuff out. But I'm hoping that there's some indicator at all. I can hear some ant shuffling about. Oh, Hi! That's for you! Oh, God! Okay. Well, all right. That didn't go as well as I had hoped. Um, I think there was a gas leak in that room there. I don't even know that they can be in those little tiny rooms there, but either way, I exploded a bit. Uh, we're gonna drink some purified waters. You can save those to get some positive karma, but we're not gonna care about that. There's an ant behind me. We're gonna throw out a, a landmine here and draw this ant over to it like the fool that he is. This absolute moron is gonna walk right into- Oh, God. Okay. Well, I can't really be calling anything an absolute moron, can I? When I blew myself up. But hey, man. We're an explosives character. What do you expect? There's gonna be a bit of exploding ourselves. You know what I mean? It happens to a lot of guys. Bam! Okay, if we can shoot their antennae. Little frenzy, as I mentioned in the last episode. Also, my cats have been very sweet today. As I've been sitting in this chair for an extended period of time. And there's cat hair literally everywhere. Greyjoy especially has been rubbing himself. Across my entire body. And every single open area, my eyeballs, my nose, everything, has just got cat hair up the wazoo. So if, you're, if you see me vehemently... Woo! That was a bloody mess, right? By the way, if you see me vehemently, you know, rubbing my face, that's why. There's cat hair just everywhere. Okay, what is this? Take Grady's last recording. Oh, this is something entirely different, if I remember correctly. Grady's last recording. If you're listening to this tape, then my brains are splattered all over a wall somewhere, and you've got a job to do. You need to retrieve the package and get it safely to Ronald Lauren and Gertershade. Tell him Grady sent you. To get the package, you'll need the key. I've stashed it inside an old fire hose case in some maintenance closet in Marigold Metro Station. The key will unlock the safe that contains the package. 
Look for the room marked by a spinning light. You can't miss it. Good luck. And hopefully, they won't find you too. I remember as a kid being very, very confused as to that. And we're not, it's not a quest, so we just have to, there'd be only ways to literally remember everything that he just said, huh? Because that doesn't appear in the quests. So yeah, he said there was a room with a spinning light. Grady's last hurrah or something. It's kind of like a little misc quest. And we'll just have to, yeah, like manually remember what he was talking about. We'll keep an eye out for a, we'll keep an eye out for a, 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 a spinning light. I don't think we've seen that yet. Also, I have no idea where to go. We've already been here. I doubled back. This was the mine boxes and stuff we opened at the start. I went into there and I was, I was even saying, yeah, we're going to keep this right side for later. Okay. Cats are acting very weird, very distracting as usual, just hopping about going. <laughs> okay, so let's see. We came from down there. Where would we progress? So right now we are, we are officially back to where we were. Probably just around this loop then. It's so bizarre that they give you like literally no way to know where to go. Unless if you just follow the ants, I guess. Much like Harry Potter. Okay, here we go. Yeah, that's a live ant. Boom! Fortunately, just no damage from small guns. Boom! Okay, one for you. Boom! Oh, and we are out of that ammo. Uh, let's go back to grenades, which is what, four? Power fist, six. Gotta get used to these. Six. Okay, I'm gonna land this perfectly. Watch this. Hi. Yeah! Okay. Didn't deal nearly as much damage as I, as I had hoped. Okay, maybe. A little bit better. Taking three grenades to kill one ant is definitely not worth it. Okay, I definitely held on to that one for a long, long, long time, and it still didn't blow up for the longest time, so I guess grenades just do not cook in Fallout 3. Woo! That was satisfying. Okay, let's go back to our landmines, which is what, 8? Fragmine 17. Hello, gray boy. If you if you come over here and distract me, I'm going to show you to the people. I just hope that you know that. You can, you, can, you can try to garner some pets if you so wish. Okay, we got more ants scuttling about. Let's throw a landmine here. Oh, God, these things are so annoying. That fire, that flamethrower thing is actually pretty decently ranged. Okay, that thing's dead. We only got a paltry five experience. No. Throw that out there as well. We've only got 15 landmines left. How come I can see fire through the wall? That's a bit bizarre. Oh, You have to let me throw the mine out, foot ant soldier. Fire ant soldier. Okay, I've got like no other way to deal damage to you. I'm not doing too well in the guns department. You fool! Ha! Throw some death discs out there like we're in Tron. Fantastic. Yeah, I'm seeing like fire through the walls. And I'm wondering if that's intentional. I'm just not realizing something. Okay, looks like this is progressing towards where we want to go. A bit higher of a fire ant concentration. Scrap metal there. I didn't pick it up. Definitely on purpose. Not because I exited the menu before I realized I wanted it. Okay, we're going to need a backup gun. He mentions... Oh, I was going to say... Yeah, he mentioned a fire hose box, but there's no spinning light in here. Didn't he say that there was like a spinning light to indicate? But here, yeah, Grady's fire hose box. Fire hose nozzle and Grady's safe key. I guess where the safe is is where that spinning light is. We'll keep an eye out for that. Vaguely, vaguely, vaguely remember this. Okay, what else do we have in here? Some pipes, ammunition box with 10 millimeter rounds, metro ticket and pre-war money. We'll press A to take all. Got a little bit of a cherry bomb over there. Psycho stim pack. Keska say fa 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 better. Okay. No 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 no. Come on. How many lock picks do we have? Bobby pins twenty two. There we go. Ten millimeter rounds. Fantastic. Anything in the middle box. People were saying carton of cigarettes. Yeah, they weigh two and they're valued at fifty. I get. I've never ever ever played Fallout to where I take the cigarettes or not. Or to where I take the cigarettes, but yeah, the the cigarette singles and also cartons of them apparently are really well worth it. If you let's say you have five, that weighs ten pounds, right? But then it's like I'm not doing math right now. I've been up for X amount of time. Go death disc. Go death disc. Oh God, <laughs> that's very terrifying. Okay, let's press um six, seven, seven twice. Okay. Okay, death disc is still in place, but I need to get a secondary weapon here. Let's go to items. Let's go to weapons. What else do we have? Pistol, meh. We do have a lot of ammo for it, though. Submachine gun will eat up that ammo quite faster. Let's go for the Chinese assault rifle. Yeah, like I said, I remember that being actually good. 
if I remember correctly. We have no small gun skill, so it's going to be horribly inaccurate as usual. Let's draw this stupid ant right into the death disc. You fool! You fell right for my trap. <laughs> okay, fire ant nectar. I wanted to look at uh, what that did as well. Fire resistance plus 25, intelligence negative 3, agility plus 4. Oh, okay, so that's pretty good actually for this specific quest, isn't it? Or if we come up against a whole bunch of ants, we will attempt to use that fire ant nectar. Alright, I think we're going the right way. See, there's gas coming out here. See this right here? There's gas. So, like, if I shoot here, I will explode, won't I? Or am I thinking of Fallout New Vegas? No, I'm definitely thinking of this game, because I can think of a quest right now that involves that. But then I'm thinking of a quest in New Vegas as well that involves that, too. Specifically the DLC, the Dead Bunny DLC. Okay. Not too bad, considering we have no small gun skill. Especially if he can't get his little flamethrower out there. Bye-bye. Okay, let's see. Still looking for that, yeah, that, light, that spinning light room. Because I do want to get that miscellaneous quest done, but I have no idea what I'm looking for on that front. Other than spinning light. Okay, any lockers with anything? Oh, yeah, lots of stuff. No, 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 no. I did not mean to take that. I think I took two cups by accident. Oh, well. Clean our, we'll clean out our inventory later on. Okay, let's keep going. Looking for any indicator. We're going into the right direction. If we're not, I'd be very surprised, though. Metro access employees only. Okay, that looks kind of good. Let's go explore the rest of this tunnel, though, real quick. Just to get, just to make sure we don't miss anything. I hear some scurrying. Okay, the little ones are extremely weak, thankfully. Hello. Yeah, like I said, if I remember correctly, the Chinese assault rifle is better than the normal assault rifle, but they both use 5.56. Oh my god. Or as gun people say, 5.56, 5. .56, 5 I don't know. Whatever whatever the correct nomenclature is. The, the bullet, the 5.56 bullet, whatever that is. William Brandis? Who the hell is this? Ant meat, ant nectar, biker goggles, energy cells, wasteland surgeon outfit. William Brandis' key? I have no idea who this is, why he's important, or what that key does. But I'll take those mines, gosh darn it. I sure will. Oh, so much cat hair all over my face still. All right, I think we want to go check out that door. Something's telling me that door might be what we want. Let's press a couple of stim packs real quick. Make sure we're all reloaded. Okay, what do we have here? Phil, you startled me. You really mustn't creep up on people like that. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Dr. Lesko. So if you remember, the story thus far is that in Grey Ditch, Dr. Lesko was doing experiments on these fire ants and was trying, I think, to vie for how they are uh, an important part of the ecosystem and should be saved or something but clearly things have gone awry here as all these ants are traveling all over the place burning people alive including myself uh sorry i didn't expect to bump into anyone alive down here what the hell are you doing down here hey you're that egg i mean scientist the kid was talking about creep up on you i just crapped my pants for crying out loud uh sorry i didn't expect to bump into anyone alive down here that is precisely why this is the ideal place for my work do you realize you're trampling about in a delicately balanced and highly sensitive experimentation area? Experiments? What do you mean? My experiments are of a complex nature and would take a scientist to explain. Oh wait, I'm a scientist. How marvelous. My foray into reducing the girth of these insectoid creatures is of utmost importance. You could have used a lot of other, other words than to girth. generationally reduce their immense stature by way of a pre-birth induced mutagen. Isn't that clever? It's clever, but I don't think the fire ant is like, you know, priority number one in the wasteland. Like, we have to neuter the fire ants over generations. I think there's a lot more pressing issues, especially related to, like, you know, mutated freaks of nature monsters but oh i see you're trying to make them smaller over time by injecting the eggs my word you understand perfectly how marvelous thank you so yeah are you aware your new ants breathe fire 
well, this is rather embarrassing, so you'll have to forgive me, but it appears that I've made a slight miscalculation in my mutagen samples. Instead of lowering the size of the ants, the brood hatched and developed a, a new biomechanism. I call their genetic aberration pyrosis, the ability to emit flame from their bodies. I may be able to correct this error, but I can't get nearby equipment. I'm shocked you didn't attempt this in a controlled environment first. Your knowledge of experimental procedure surprises me. Indeed, I have skipped a step and directly modified an entire brood. Perhaps I was too hasty. I was so certain it would work. To correct this mistake, I'll need to get to my terminal to modify the mutagen. What can I do to help? Since you've offered, allow me to elaborate. My portable terminal is set up in the hatchery chamber near the Ant Queen. If I can reach it, I can continue to work on improving the mutagen. If the Queen's your concern, why not deal with it directly? If she were harmed in any way, months of data would be lost. Your objective would be to eliminate what I call her quintet of nest guardians. Filthy little abominations. Yeah, do you have a big weapon? I honestly could use a big weapon, man. I've been, I'm on episode 11 right now and still have not been able to find one. Now, I know I could look up, like, big weapon, first area, can find, but I'd love to happen upon it naturally. Uh, so, could you, maybe that's a thing? Oh, I actually kind of think there might that might be a thing. Uh, but we'll see. Uh, just how will this undo all the mayhem you've caused? I've rigged the equipment at my portable terminal to emit what I call an inhibitor pulse. Once I send this pulse, all of the remaining ants will lose their empathic link with the queen and frenzy destroying each other in the process. So that's all there is to it. What do you say? If it'll stop the ants from burning down Great Itch I'm in, this is a hefty task, Doc. I'm going to need serious incentive. True. Books aren't going to buy me new ammunition. True. You want help? Fork, of, fork over some Caps Einstein. Let me get back to you on this. Uh, this is a hefty task, Doc. I'm going to need some serious incentive. Yes, I suppose you're right. Science must learn to acquiesce to your standards in order to advance itself. I was merely going to offer up one of my mutagenic bio-enhancers, but I suppose I could up the ante. I will also award you with my old lab coat. It served me well over the years, and you may find it useful for your own experiments. Well, um, uh, it could be a lot better things than that. Uh, mutagenic bio-what? I've managed to isolate some of the fire ant genes and distill them into human-safe genetic enhancers. I can inject you with one of these formulas, and you'll find yourself with either enhanced strength or enhanced perception. Not only that, but you'll be somewhat more resistant to fire. How marvelous. That does sound pretty good. Uh, if it'll stop the ants from burning down Great Itch, I'm in. You will? How marvelous. Be careful, my friend. The nest guardians can be quite tenacious. My work is done, Doctor? Did we literally do it? Eliminate all five nest guardians from the Ant Queen's hatchery. Do not harm the Ant Queen. What else can you tell me about these fire ants? Well, the mutagen has enhanced their fortitude and provided them with what I call pyrosis, the ability to emit flame biologically. Right. They're quite radiation-free, however. Well, as radiation-free as any other mutated creature in the wasteland. How did you go from changing their size to breathing fire? Playing with genetic codes isn't simple. Do you realize one tiny tweak at any point in the last million years could have completely changed us? Yeah, but of course. Going from attempting to change their size to generating their pyrosis ability is no surprise at all. Will anything special hurt the ants? I'm afraid they are not susceptible to anything I can think of that wouldn't harm the garden variety giant ant. Just aim for their antennae, if you can. It, it will confuse them quite a bit. How the heck can an ant breathe fire? The stimulation of the subject's evolutionary trigger by the mutagen caused a biodefensive reaction metamorphosing the ant's venom glands. This process caused unexpected oscillations in the venom molecules at such a vast rate it produces a thermodynamic biochemical reaction. As the subject ejects the volatile solution, it becomes conflagrant due to new structures in its maw. I call it 
calefaction array. Amazing, isn't it? I know they want you to go after this like, okay, egghead, speak English. But honestly, it, it sounds very, yeah, he's he's posturing with all that. The only thing I didn't understand was the last C word, the the collag the, the T thing that he said. Even the conflagration or whatever, I know that means fire because I played Brand in League of Legends and he had like a, an ability that was called like conflagration or whatever the word is. Anyways, uh, let me ask you something else. Yes? What do you know about Brian Wilkes? Far too curious. His incessant questioning would often come when I was the most absorbed with my calculations. He had no regard for the importance of my work. He was a child, Doctor. Don't you realize you've ruined his entire life? Can't you take responsibility for his father's death? You should have at least told him you were alive. He thought he was alone. Can't you take responsibility for his father's death? He literally died to the ants, man. All scientists take responsibility for their failures because it comes with the territory. I will take this experimentation to completion without roosting on the moral high ground. If I allow emotions to enter the mix, all this time and energy spent will have been for nothing. How convenient for you. You should have at least told him you were alive. He thought he was alone. I can't risk leaving this place. I have to continue monitoring the hatchery for any further mutations in the next brood. I have no time for children and their petty games. What do they know about the importance of my work? Not much, but Doctor, you have to retain at least a semblance of your humanity. Otherwise, what does any of this even matter? Don't you realize you've ruined his entire life? You have your ideals and I have mine. I'm down here to complete my experiments at any cost. If that means the loss of a few lives to save generations of lives in the future, it's a small price to pay. That's messed up, Doctor. Let me ask you something else. Yes? <laughs> yes? Uh, about your experiments. Oh my, yes. They're quite marvelous. Okay. There are many that say it can't be done, but I'll prove them wrong. You're so smart, Dr. Lesko. What's the goal of your experiments? By introducing my mutagen directly into an ant egg, I hope to reduce the size of the adults. This is a generational system, meaning it will take quite a few broods before the ants are at their destination size. In the end, I hope to make them as small as they were over 200 years ago. It's just like, what is the point of this? <laughs> he's killed so many people and caused so much damage. Or at least, he's killed people. And just to reduce the size of ants over time. Okay, what about the super mutants? What about the death claws? What about every other horrible thing? Uh, congrats, Dr. Lesko. How exactly can I destroy the mutagen? Destroy? Oh, no, no, no! You mustn't do that. It's my life's work. Just clear me a path to my equipment and I'll do the rest when you tell me it's safe. Hmm. Okay, let me ask you something else. Yes? Yes? I have to go now. Much to do. So much to do. You're so enveloped in your own little experiments, Dr. Lesko. You realize not what you do. Activate Dr. Lesko's turn with an average lock. Okay, let's see if we've got any skill books in here or anything before we head out. Yeah, I think as a kid, uh, once again, I was really confused. I was so confused with so much of this stuff. Like, I think for the longest time, as I've said, my playstyle with video games was kind of just like, get the objective, go and click the thing to complete the objective. I don't know why. These days, I'm not like that at all. As I've said, these days, it's much more so... Oh, we can just take all of this? Okay. These days, it's much more so like, um, you know, I want to experience fully what the game has to offer. I want to experience fully what each choice has to offer and all that sort of stuff. That means much more to me. So, yeah, I mean, it's clear to me now, obviously, you either have to, to kill all of the ants at once, have them all turn on each other so that he can continue these experiments, or you can, I guess, uh, destroy his experience once, once and for all. And I'm trying to, trying to come to a conclusion as to what is the correct option at this point in time. Uh, let's take a look at our journal and see what our options are. Those, optional, do not harm the Ant Queen. Eliminate all five nest guardians from the Ant Queen's hatchery. Investigate Marigold Metro Station. Remove the source of the fire ants. Okay, we will try not to kill the Ant Queen. Open door to Queen Ant's hatchery. Although, why? Now that I'm thinking about it, why? Why would we not harm the Ant Queen? Wouldn't killing this Ant Queen just solve a lot of problems? But I guess it's the quote-unquote nice option? 
But why? Because life, I guess? I don't know. What's what's the end goal here, you know? Oh. Okay, let's uh go into Vats with V just to see. Fire Ant Nest Guardian. Yeah, I just want to make sure we don't accidentally hit the queen, but I think we'll know what the queen looks like if I remember right. It's been a long, long time. If we can tank some of this. We should use... Yeah, let's go ahead and use that Fire Ant Nectar. Uh, let's see. Aid. Fire resist plus 25. Intelligence minus 3. Agility plus 4. Yeah. That'll buy us a little bit of time. Alright, what do you have? Now, the condition of this weapon is not great, so clearly it is jamming a lot. Let's press 7. 7. I'm using way too many stim packs for my liking, but that's alright. We're gonna try not to harm the Ant Queen. I don't remember if you actually have a choice here. It sounded like we did, but currently we only have, like, one objective, so that's fine. Other, you know, just to kill all these ants. Okay. Whoa! Well, I did not see that ant before it was too late. Okay. Also, our gun is glowing red every time we're like... Every time we're like hit with some of this fire, and I wonder if that's doing anything specifically. It's like burning the gun, making the gun liquid hot magma. Okay, that's two. We got three more ants to go. Oh, there's two down there. Fire Ant Nest Guardian. Okay, let's press uh, eight and go for these. Toss one, toss another one, toss a third one, and a fourth. Fire Ant Nest Guardian Frenzy. Okay, so he's gonna be attacking his friend. Let's go back to five and peek around the corner here. Yes, fight amongst yourselves. Okay, let's grab our landmines. I don't think it's going to be necessary. Thank you. Thank you. Man, you guys are tanky. I'm just hoping one of these isn't the queen by accident. Okay, what's going on with this? This is a weird visual glitch. Okay, we got number four and we got number three. Okay, one final nest guardian. Let's see how our objectives get updated. Oh, oh, there's the queen. Yeah, it is gigantic. Okay, we cannot hit it. There's also a Protectron, oddly enough. Oh my god, look at that thing. That would be my literal worst nightmare ever. Marigold Ant Queen. Okay, I should save the game before something bad happens. Here, let's get out of Crouch. Let's go over here and save the game. I really would like for this bonus objective to remain. Um, But their last guardian is in there somewhere. Hmm, I'm gonna try not to use vats at all, like I've said, so I'm just gonna rush in there and try to find him. Where is he? Tell me he's not in the wall. Where is this guy? Back here? Oh. I can't even get back there. Uh, I do not know where this final guardian is. And what's the deal with the Protectron as well? Yeah, he's like back here somewhere. Who are you, by the way? I'm sorry. Oh, here we go. I think we're just going to try to face tank this. Oh! No, 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 no! There's the queen! She just, like, appeared there! Okay, let's press 7-7. Seven, seven. Hopefully this little guy comes around the corner. I don't want to harm the queen! Okay, there we go. That's all five guardians killed. Let's see what happens now. Return to Dr. Lesko. Hmm... Okay, now I am a wee bit confused. Hold on, let's hit tab and go into our objectives here. Data, quests, those. Return to Dr. Lesko, optional, do not harm the ant queen. Investigate Marigold Metro Station and remove the source of the fire ants. I'm a little confused. Okay, so Dr. Lesko wants to inject the eggs over generations and make them smaller and smaller and smaller until they're not an issue. So I guess that saves an entire species, which is all well and good, sure. But again, in the grand scheme of things with the apocalypse in the wasteland, how good is that really? I don't know. And how realistic is that really? I don't know. So then if we just kill the ant, I guess that's the negative karma option, right? Because it's like you're attacking nature, even though it's a literal gosh dang giant fire ant that is breeding fire ants that are burning people alive. Maybe that's just a species of ant we don't want. But okay, I guess we'll return to Dr. Lesko. Hi, yeah. Can I show you the people? Okay, I won't even do it. Never mind. You might be able to see her back there. 
All right, let's just get out of here then. Let's skedaddle. I don't know if there's anything in here that we can like loot or anything worth looting either. This is a little hectic of a situation. Was it R to stow our weapon? Oh my God, look at that. That is horrendous, man. No, thank you. Okay, what is going on in here? Oh, we can probably manipulate this as well. Big book of science there. What else do we have? I see some ammo on the ground, I believe. What is that? It looks like ammo to me, but it's like wedged into the ground. Nuka-Cola Quantum. Glad I spotted that. Uh, do we want to take a look? I don't even think we can hack into this, though. A science skill of 50 is required to hack this terminal. 10 millimeter rounds there, though. Hmm, what would happen if you interacted with that terminal, I wonder? Activate mutagen tank? What happens if we activate the mutagen tank? Okay, let's make a new save. I'm curious. Nothing. Okay, we probably need to interact with that terminal to make that happen. Okay, I'm just kind of trying to avoid the mega negative karma, which I think would be attacking the ant. I think the first time I did this as a child, I was like, hey, kill the giant monster ant, right? And then I got mega negative karma, and I was like, what? I don't get it. I think we're trying to avoid that now in my very hazy uh, 7.43 a.m. mental state. Uh, how do I get out of here? Looks like here. Yeah, I'm curious. I'm curious how this ends, because we could have also destroyed the mutagen, which is probably if we activate... If we activate that terminal, we probably could have just destroyed the mutagen, which would have made him really mad. But then what? The ants just get to continue to be gigantic? I'm, I'm kind of confused as to what the objective is here. Also, before I forget, let's go ahead and read that big book O science. Bam. Increasing our science by one, which actually we need, so that's pretty nice. Hi. I've detected some changes within the Queen's hatchery with my equipment. What's transpired? Hopefully only good. Uh, my work is done, Doctor. Oh, how marvelous. Please, tell me what happened. Come now, the faster you tell me, the faster I can provide promised payment for your services. Well, hopefully I did the right thing. Um, I've killed all the nest guardians. Then I will proceed to my portable terminal at once and make the necessary changes to the formula. Thanks very much for everything. You've been quite a useful lab assistant. Okay, I'm ready for my mutagenic bioenhancer injection and lab coat, Doctor. Return to Brian Wilkes. What should I do about Brian Wilkes? So will you, what will you do now, Doctor? Yeah, let's make sure we get this. How marvelous. Here is the promised lab coat. I'm certain you'll find it quite useful. I'm sure, certain I will too. Which injection did you want? Will it be the ant site or ant mite? I love when they give us unique uh, uh, quest objective or unique quest rewards like this. I'd like the ant might to increase my physical strength, the ant sight to increase my perception. Let's see. Strength does not matter because we're going explosives and we're going heavy weapons. And I, from what I remember, it does not matter for heavy weapons, even though you might think it would with holding like big stuff. It does matter for carry away. Perception is probably better because eventually I would like to have a big giant like Gatling laser boo, doo, 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 and then we have perception we could see people further so I'd like the ant sight to increase my perception How marvelous ant sight it is hold still please Yeah just put that ant stuff right into my veins because why not man this is the apocalypse Who cares just put, fill me up with bugs You've been granted the perception and flame resistance of the Great Itch Fire Ants. Your perception is increased by one, and you are now 25% resistant to fire. Very nice. And I guess he goes off, and I don't know if there's any other interaction with that, but if there is, I suppose we can figure it out. Can't interact with that. We also got a lab coat. Let's take a look at that real quick. Apparel. Lesko's lab coat. Rad resistance plus 20. Science plus 10. Look at that. Isn't that pretty fortuitous? We got the exact amount of uh, science we needed in order to go back to the Robco facility and do that. I still don't know what's going on with Grady's key, and I don't know what's going on with this dude's key as well. It looks like maybe this extends to something down there, or maybe past the... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so let me make a save real quick and make sure I'm not significantly underestimate here with our uh, time. Okay, good. Perfect timing. All right, uh, I was going to go finish this quest, but at the same time, I would like to... Oh, don't... Oh, don't. Okay, that is why we saved. Because Fallout 3 and Oblivion are incredibly buggy. And they just... It just... Oh, God. I hope this doesn't mess up my 24-hour stream now. Okay, I'm going to close the window. 
please don't mess up my 24-hour stream. All right, uh, a bit of an uncouth ending here, but that's where we end, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to try to do the Grady's thing and whatever that other guy we found with his key as well uh, before we exit this metro station and then end the Great Itch quest. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, thank you to the people on Twitch watching live right now. Come over and follow the Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Govana. We are... Very near the end. Well, not very near, but we're coming to the end of a 24-hour stream. Got some more games to play. <sighs> Wish me luck, even though you'll be watching this in the future. Thanks so much for watching, and thank you to my patrons who support me what I do in what I do over on Patreon. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Hey, it's me, GV. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you want to see more of me, I'm live on Twitch pretty much every day. Link is in the description. If you want to go the extra mile to support me in this channel, consider becoming a patron. Link is also in the description. Otherwise, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.